Hey everybody and welcome back to Upgrades Complete and here we have him, Explorer Elder Bawes TW1103, also known as Studio Series Revenge of the Fallen Jetfire. Now he does not come in packed in robot mode, he does not come packed in alt mode, he comes packed in a lot of parts mode. But this is not a bad thing and I cannot take any score away from Bawe for packaging them this way. It is not an expensive figure. It is packed securely in a blister pack. This is a great way to make sure he is shipped safe. I'm good with that. Now, this might be a little intimidating to you. I know it looks a bit like a model kit, but it's going to be okay. Breathe in Al, we're going to get through this together. Now, when you take it out of the box, you're also going to find a bag. In the bag is parts. A lot of parts. It's the BFG. It's the combined mode parts. It's some of the jet mode parts. But, but that's okay. Okay? Everybody just calm down. Don't be worried. We're going to take most of this aside because we're only going to use it for combined mode. Right now we are going to go into jet mode, which means we are going to take these two wings. We are going to take these two wings. And we are going to take this little back piece, which is actually great. I love this piece. Uh, it was part of a previous upgrade kit, but it will secure, secure onto the back of either Star Leader, if you have Bawes, or SS32. It'll secure the jet backpack onto him much better. Everything else we're just going to keep to the side for now. Now, I know you're going to have a question, and that's going to be... A, does he have a chest piece? Well, it's right there in red. But B, what is that gray piece in the bottom? I didn't know this. It took me a while to figure it out. It's uh, a little gunmetal piece. But I figured it out. I will show it to you. Now, for those of you who have gotten this figure already, um, you'll understand this for those of you that don't. This, I can't even fit the whole thing in a frame. This is the instruction sheet. Front and back. And it took me little, uh, well, all of about three seconds to realize that, oh, there's a secondary sheet. It took me about three seconds to realize this is gonna be of zero use to me. So I did everybody a favor. I went online, looked at some of my favorite reviewers to see the upgrade kits, the figure, how it would all go together, work together without any fuss or muss. And I have to admit, after doing this a half dozen times trying to figure it out, it is a lot easier than I originally thought. Being a five-year-old figure, um, of course there's going to be some exceptions to the modern rules but realistically it goes together very easily the first thing you're going to want to do is pull out the main body okay once you get the main body out you can flip up these wings flip up the back panel and you're going to want to flip out the center part there that's it. No big deal. Okay? You still with me? Nice and easy. Now, what we're going to do is take that weird piece, split it in half. Okay? We are going to turn it around, and each half of these is actually going to become part of the wing assembly. If you look on the bottom here, there are a couple of holes 
a couple of slots that are going to go into a couple of tabs. Right here on the wing, they are going to make sure you have the right side first because I've done this enough times to know that I probably have the wrong side. And I do, I think. So you just line up these tabs with these slots and it's going to fall right into place. It frictions in. It's really not any kind of chore. It's not a problem. It's smooth. That's smooth. And you got to like that. Okay. Now, next thing we can do if we want it to, uh, we could attach, if I can even get them out, these. Now, these to me are for combined mode. These are the gun straps or whatnot. You could take these, the, the end without the hinge. So this end here, and what you'd want to do is you'd plug it in back here. But I'm not going to bother doing that because honestly, it does not have much, much use at all in this mode. So, going from there, now that we have this piece extended, we are just going to reach in and grab the side thrusters. Again, might look more complicated than what they are. They're not. Take the toe that bends in, and that's going to be on the outside of the jet, so you know you're left from right. Easy enough. These parts are going to be straight down the side. Straight down like that. Nice and easy. We're going to take them at this point and we are going to slide them in. There are slots right here and slots right there. We're just going to slide it down, lift up the foot a little bit because that is a tab, push it down and you're done. That's it. It's that easy. Give it a little squeeze. Not much because it will tighten up afterwards. Do the same thing on this side. Take it. Line it up. Right down. Don't forget to lift the foot up a little bit. And there he is in position. They're tabbed in. They're good. They're solid. They're not going anywhere. Give them a little squeeze here, make sure everything's good. Now, next thing we're gonna do is grab the main body. Might as well leave that standing up like that because it will. There is some die cast in this figure, uh, mainly around the feet, but that is really, really gonna help in both alt mode or robot mode and combined mode. Next thing we're gonna do is simple. We are going to take the main body structure and we are going to plug it in right here to this section. Now, if you look in between the arms is a tab and there is a slot right here and we are going to utilize both of them. Make sure you have a little spacing in the arms. If you have to, you can move the wings out of the way. I've done this enough times that I'm kind of used to it, but line that up. Give me a second. Oh, now that the camera's on, it's gonna fight me. Of course. That's the way these things go. Ask anybody that does Transformers. And this is how these things go. Okay, let me reset my sanity for a second. Move these out one click. Now you see those two parts there, you have the slot and groove. One's gonna go right into the other if I can get it, there we go. 
And she's in. You have a nice firm click. You're going to bring the hands back down. Make sure they're in position. You are going to bring the wings back in. They will clip right back into position. It's actually a lot less fiddle factor. It's just hard to do with the camera. Okay, so that's what you're going to look like, just like that. Now, take the top panel, drop it down. That is going to enable you to push the hands into position. They have a tab slot connection. You can't see it, but they actually seat perfectly. So you don't even need to deal with that. And then back here, you're going to just give that a little squeeze and you have a completed rear of the jet. Cockpit is even easier. Now, as opposed to the normal cockpit, this cockpit has the extension piece here for removal for the shoulder pads, but we're just going to clip it in. Again, nice tight friction joint, and we have a complete look. That's actually incredibly easy. And it looks good. It actually looks good and we've used up almost all the parts in the box. Next thing we're gonna do, flip it upside down. Okay, and we're gonna take the landing gear. It is double hinged. So we're gonna fold it up into a Z formation. If you want the landing gear down, you can put it down. If you want it up, put it up, doesn't matter. And you're just going to tuck the skinny end underneath the head. It'll go right in between. You can lift the head up a little bit if you need to. And just push it down. You'll feel it go right into the slot. You don't really need to look for it. It's right there. So now you have your front landing gear all assembled. Great. Finally, we have the axe, and it is a really nice axe. I, I like the silver highlights on this with the gunmetal gray. You can see how it catches the light, but storage for this is right here on the bottom of the jet. You see these two tabs here and here? Those two tabs are going to go into the two slots right here on the axe. So you just try to get around. Put it in. Line it up right in the center. And push those tabs in. Now, it's not the most secure connection, but that's no big deal. Because we're going to take these. The extra wing pieces. And we're going to plug them into where the rear landing gears are. There's actually a nice little port there. Just line it up and push it in. Same thing on the other side. Just like the first, line it up, push it in. And there you go. Now it's holding the axe. Everything's holding extremely firmly, and you're good. Now, the other part we were going to keep, if you remember was the back piece that'll be the back jetpack. And you take this slot here, peg here, push it right into the back. That's it, forget about it, it's done. That easy. Looks decent, works well, that's all you need. Functionality. Now, these can look complicated. These wing sections, they're actually really not. Bring around in the front of the jet. Underneath the head, there are two tabs. You can lift the head up if you need to, or you can just feel your way behind the landing gear. And there are two drop slots that they peg right into. So this hole right here, 
is going to peg into the slot right here. And that's it. You're good. Just tuck the head back down. And nothing is going anywhere. I mean, this is solid. I mean, you don't hear a sound out of it. Unless I bang it into something. And there you have Jetfire, except for the chest mode part for combination with Optimus. Now we can get rid of that plastic, put Jetfire down, and take a look at him. And off the bat, I can tell you, just from taking him apart and putting him together, he is a really solid figure. And you have to remember, I have done this about five or six times already just to get the feel for it. But it's easy. It's simple. It's clean. The black and red are gorgeous. You have gold. You have some bronze or copper. I'm really happy with it. The way everything folds up, the way the extras come in, it, it's a nice jet. I mean, it is pretty seamless. No matter what angle you really look at this from, it looks good. So, putting him off to the side for a second, we're just going to bring in these pieces, which you could attach to jet mode if you really wanted to. But, like I said, it's more for alt mode. You have the BFG. You have the chest piece. These are the thigh pieces for combination. These are the knee pieces for combination. These are the foot pieces for combination. It's nice. Gives them nice toesies to work with. Help with balance. And then you have the nose cones for the exhaust and a nice little gun there. Um, I still have to figure out where that goes, but I will. No big deal. Now, that was not hard at all. So intimidation factor is gone. This was easy. And in the next video, what we are going to do is take dear old Explorer Elder and combine him with not just SS32 Prime, but Bawe's other offering... Star Leader Nemesis Prime. Now, tell me these black and reds and purples are not going to look excellent with Jetfire. I mean, you cannot go wrong with black and red. Throw a little purple into that mix, fantastic. This is what made me order two. One to keep in jet mode. One to keep in combined mode. And we are going to get into combined mode next. So, again, check the playlist. The next video will be the combination with Optimus over here. And from that point, we will take him back apart and put him into robot mode. Which I know most of you probably think the same way I do. That's not where you want him. But we're going to do it anyway. So, I hope you enjoyed this. You can speed your way through it if you need to. Otherwise, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You know I am going to be dropping a big relaunch video this weekend, and you do not want to miss it. So, thank you again. Again, this is Mark from Upgrades Complete, and have a great weekend.